Hey guys, uh, today I put up on my story this picture and I said who wants to learn about the progress loop. So here I am, I'm gonna do it live for you guys so you can see exactly how it goes. Uh, the word progress for me is fulfillment. Fulfillment is progress, progress is fulfillment. Uh, if you're not progressing as a self, as a business, as a relationship, whatever it is, we're gonna to start to get a little bit bummed out. And so this is probably one of the most common conversations that I have with staff, with friends, with family, with colleagues, doesn't matter. People come to me and they say, hey, Dan, I feel flat, I feel like I'm not progressing, I feel like I'm not getting ahead. Now 99% of the times, that's not actually true. They are progressing, just not how they imagined or how they were maybe measuring it. So it's a falsehood based on the way that they actually are self-assessing that, right? So progress has two different components. Um, the first component is the invisible component. This is self-progress, it's like self-growth, self-development, it's all the things that you can't actually see, they're not tangible. So when we think about invisible growth, we think about things like confidence has improved, we think about things like uh, maybe our reputation has improved, we think about things like our positioning, so maybe you're actually uh, closer to getting access to an opportunity that you're not quite got yet, but your positioning has actually started to improve. Your ambition has increased, like your your level of engagement has increased, your retention has increased. There's lots of things that don't actually have a tangible milestone that you can connect to it, right? But it doesn't mean that you're not actually progressing, they're just a little bit harder to see. When we say we're not progressing and I feel unfulfilled or I feel flat, what we actually mean is we don't have any visible benefits of that progress, yeah? We don't have any visibility of that. So what we're chasing is we're chasing things like pay rise. We're chasing things like new house, new car. We're chasing things like, uh, uh, a, 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 how do you draw a trophy? A, tr a trophy that says that we're number one in an industry, number one in a company, number one in whatever it is that we're chasing, right? So we're looking for like these tangible things that says, I definitely know I'm progressing, therefore I know I should feel fulfilled because somebody else told me so or something that I now have is telling me so. So when people say I'm not progressing, what they want and what they're chasing is this, right? So in our desire yeah, to get this, what actually unfortunately happens is we miss all of this. We just completely don't even assess it. We don't judge it, we don't even think about it, right? And here's the crazy part. It's this which actually gives us this. This leads to this, right? So what happens with the line in here is there's execution, and then with execution, there's a law of averages that are actually getting achieved, right? So let me draw it like this, right? The only way that you're ever gonna get more money is if you become worth more money, which means self-development gives you more money, right? The only way that you're gonna become number one is not by starting number one, it's probably by starting number 100 and slowly actually moving your, your way through the ranks, you get recognized based on your usefulness to an industry or your usefulness to a person, right? Useful leads to successful, but it starts by being in here. You can only be of use based on what you already have to give. So you gotta work on what you have to give, which is then gonna to lead to this over here. Now the reason why I say execution leads to tangible gain is because we only execute once we're confident. Now where does confidence come from? Well confidence comes from competence. Competence is invisible growth. It's not from visible growth. Right, so how we feel comes down to the skill sets that we've actually been able to attain, but also based on what we focus. How we think and how we feel is gonna lead that competence, turn it into confidence and we actually start to execute. Now just because we execute the first time doesn't mean we're gonna get the tangible benefits, right? So we just get bra we, we get braver and braver based on this, which means we attempt this. So it goes like this, right? We try to get visible growth, yeah. We normally fail so we have an attempt execution, which normally results in failure, yeah? But with failure comes feedback, and feedback leads to more invisible growth, right? So let me give you an example of this. I wanted more tangible growth. I wanted a nicer house, I wanted a nicer car, and I wanted more things. I wanted more offices, so I got really good at running one business. And then because I wanted tangible growth, I wanted to feel like I was progressing, I went and opened up a second one in Sydney, it closed down, it failed. I learned a lot, so I opened up another one. In Adelaide, I opened up another one, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, all three of those failed as well. In fact, I was zero from four on expanding my business early parts of my career. The cool thing was none of those failures were a waste. I was gathering information, gathering feedback. It was so data rich, which meant that every time I failed in this progress loop, I actually got more invisible growth. Yeah, now lucky for myself, it wasn't invisible for me. I was able to dust it off and uncover it and see that my confidence was growing, see that my knowledge was improving, see that my reputation, my positioning was actually getting better. I was becoming better, which means with every next attempt, 
I was getting closer to my law of averages actually starting to kick off, right? So there's execution and there is a law of averages. Yeah, we try. Maybe a law of averages is one from four, one from five, one from 10. But every time we do this loop, this, this progress loop, what happens is we get better here, which means we're more, more likely to achieve over here, right? So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a loop yeah, that actually kicks in, in, into play here. This here leads to this, yeah? And so progress, therefore, is a process, right? This is a process. It's not, a, a, it's not like you got progress or you didn't. It's a process that we go through. Invisible growth leads to visible growth. Invisible leads to visible. Yeah, and the more of this gives you the more of that. Okay, it takes a real maturity to understand this. So if you're um, like autonomous in the way that you work, or you have to be really good for yourself and just for your own confidence, you're getting really good at making the invisible visible. And this is why I always tell people, dig beyond the data. Like dig way past what is measurable to look for your growth and your feeling of progress. If you're a leader of people, what you have to be really good is helping other people turn the invisible stuff into visible stuff. If you do that, what actually happens is you feel more confident. And if you feel more confident, you'll be ready for another attempt, another execution, which will give you a chance of getting either more feedback or more success. But you'll get one or the other, yeah? There's no failure, there's you win or you learn, right? You win or you learn, you win or you learn. And that's this loop that actually goes on. So are you progressing? I don't know, maybe not what you're looking for, but I'm sure as hell that you're progressing if you're playing. You know, if you're sitting on the sideline, there's no progress there. But if you're in the game, you'll be learning something, which will be getting you closer and closer and closer. Right, so this is what we gotta focus on. Focus on this, as I did in the last picture, focus on this, this gets bigger, and this gets bigger, and this gets bigger, and this gets bigger, and eventually we have this conversion where it comes over here, and there's a lag between these coming. So there's time, plus attempts, lead to this stuff, right? And that's where you're gonna get the actual progress you're after.